All right, what is up, you guys? It's the Sandman, back at it again. We're going back to the well with Mr. Stevie Ray Vaughn, the one and only blues master. Um, well, not the only blues master, but one and only Stevie Ray Vaughn. I mean, no one can really come close to what this guy comes together with in terms of all the, the talent and skill that he has and possesses. Um, but, man, I came across this gem of a concert, it looks like, man. This is from my hit, my city right now, where I'm in right now. Nashville, Tennessee, 1987 at the Starwood Amphitheater. Um, just finishing up Scuttlebutt, and I'm like, you know, the next track is Say What? And I don't think I've reacted to that yet. So, um, man, can't wait. Can't wait to hear it. Maybe I'll check out this venue if it's still there somewhere. Um, but, yeah, man, it's pretty cool. See him play around where I'm at. So here's Say What. Let's go. Alright, let it transition out. Ooh. Man, okay, I really love that transition from from scuttle to this man. I like that. Ooh, there's something going on with like the keyboard player. I think there's like a rippling effect, like the the chords in the background. Ooh, has like this nice like dance hall kind of sound to it. Um. Ooh, a little bit of wall. Killing it with the band right off the bat right here. Um, but there's a theme. It's like the dan it dan it dan that that theme throughout all the whatever he's been playing so far, man. Really tasty stuff. I just gotta play this section right right back again, man. It looks like a C blues. Um it's again a lot of great circular licks going on right here in this position. Let's go. Also listen for the wall. Man, the way he timed, the timing on these crazy screaming bends is absolutely phenomenal. He does that main position, ends the lick, the dan, 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 and then boom, right into that crazy, crazy bend, man. And of course, you got the rapid fire. He does this a lot. I've seen this a handful of times now, this little sliding, um, fast strumming thing that he does. Uh, it's pretty much his signature of his, man. I don't really see any guitar players really pulling it out the gate like that, except for maybe Robin Trower. Robin Trower does that a lot as well. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Oh, and listen for that. Okay, so on the turnaround, 
the um the blues turnaround part there's this classic stevie ray sound that he does on the turnaround there's so this is like one of his turnaround licks that he's gonna do in like about 10 seconds i'll point it out let's go <laughs> Man, I just want you guys to hear all these instruments coming together, man. You've got the bass. you got the bass doing some nice climbs. Um, I love how he settles into the groove as well, man, during this part. Man, this is so sick. You can see it in his face. He's like, yeah, this, let's have some fun with it right now. Settles in this nice, just choppy groove. Um, keyboard player is really going off. I think he's doing like that effect on the knob at the side where you can get that wavy sound. So that's really cool what he's doing there. Um, but yeah, here everything just come together, man, right here. It's a, it's a really cool, cool, um, cool switch up. And also the chord shapes that he's playing sounds really nice, really like funky, um, uh, you know, really stabbing at them. And it seems like it's a, some type of seven chord. I don't even know. I'm not even going to attempt to describe what I think it is, but let's go. Let's repeat that lick, man. Let's repeat that lick. I love the end of that lick where it flashes to the drummer for, us, for those frames, during those frames, what he's playing in the back. Some really crazy, unexpected bends going on there. Really great control. Um, let's go. So here's a little change up. So a new chord introduced here. The keyboard.
Wow. Wow, man. I got to check out where this venue was or if it's even called the Starwood anymore, man. Um, that is, that was amazing. That was amazing, man. Um, yeah, man. At the end here, I like this like theme where it's like this, there's this new like jazzy thing going on with the keyboards there. Um, but I think Stevie and the bass player kept in, kept in sync. So the, the deviation was like with the, with the keyboard player. So that added a nice little layer of, um, kind of jazziness, you know, towards this final section here. But I like the theme where the, the, like the, the, um, the new theme kind of in the, in the, in the guitar work. So it's like, dun, 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 dun. that's the theme. It's like, dun, 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 dun. and you can hear it in the first lick, starting with the first lick, I'm going to try to find it here. Look for his index finger, Stevie's index finger, when they zoom in on the fretboard here. And listen to the way that kind of sound, that accent on that, those index finger notes kind of like lay the found, foundation for the theme. Like those are like the kind of main hitters, so, so to speak. Just, uh, you'll see when you hear it, let's go. Not yet, not yet. Here we go. <laughs> look at how he's look at how much he's bending that man Lightning fast, lightning fast. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Wow, that was amazing stuff, man. It's crazy. It's been a while since I've uh, actually listened to this guy, man, but ah, blows my mind every time. Insane, insane. Um, it looks like there's a couple new ones on this set list here. There's a Leonard Skinner feature at the last uh, as well, so that's definitely going to be on the list for the future. Um, and there's like one or two other songs that I haven't come across yet. So, man, so there's good stuff to look forward to from this one, man. I love it. I love it. All right, Sandman checking out. Peace. Soul to soul.